Virgo, it's Irish Donna Tarot with your day tarot reading. Um, this is a reading for the collective Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If it doesn't resonate, it really just isn't your reading. Um, you can go ahead and look at our playlist and look at the other parts of your chart to see what resonates there. This is a love reading for somebody with whom you are interacting. Uh, it's not really meant to be a pie in the sky reading. And we're going to get started here. It'll be about 10 minutes. And again, if you like to support specialty content, it's really important because um, YouTube judges me on the basis of how you participate with my video. And you know what that means. Okay. So at the bottom of the deck, the energy is contemplative. Two of swords. You need time to yourself. You need a, a hot minute to take for yourself and meditate. Be mindful. You know, you're very aware. The two of swords means not necessarily talking to somebody. It can mean taking a break from them. But it also just means you need to travel inside. You can't have someone who's in your ear constantly. Wah, wah, wah. All right. You're energy coming into this reading of Virgo is, this is so Virgo anyway, right? Five of Swords. Somebody said or did something that seemed really markedly unfair, enough to make you want to walk away, or you did the same to that person. I will clarify this more, but when we get the Swords energy, that, uh, that Five of Swords energy is kind of tough energy. It's very Aquarian. All right, so let's see what it crosses us for good or ill. Let's see, we get the Ace of Coins. Well, somebody wants an offer and the other person isn't inclined to give it to them. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the deck. That way it'll be faster, okay. And at the bottom of the reading, ooh, that's you, Virgo. You really want to be off on an adventure that's emotional and fulfilling and different. This person's in a spaceship and they want to be with their best friends. That's you. You're coming into this reading wanting to have new and different experiences. You want an offer that's sort of magical and something you can count on. All right. Virgo, look at this. You may have recently either met the person you will marry or you've recently married. For some of you, this is very much on your mind. You may have also met the person that you're interested in at a wedding, you know. So I love this energy. The Hierophant is very traditional values. Oftentimes, the Hierophant can cause some problems in relationships if we're too geared to uh, traditional doctrine. So it's just something to look out for. So we're going to clarify the reading very quickly at the end. Seven of Cups says that you and your person have a lot of options. It's always about fantasy. It's about really not taking action. So right now, in your love life, I don't really see you in an action-oriented mood, right? I'm just seeing you sort of withdraw and want to have fun with friends in the near future. Wow, okay, just as I was saying you wanted to withdraw. This is six weeks out. Six weeks out, I get the Ten of Cups. Great happiness, great joy. This is also a marriage energy. So when I have this flanked, it looks as though you are in a very serious uh, relationship uh, coming in here, okay? Why, what do we see in the current situation? Ace of Cups, new love, a new love, new love, and a new love offer. And <clears throat> we see that soulmates card is a person, the person that you're talking to, interested in, is a soulmate. Gemini energy, very powerful energy. All right, what's helping you or hindering you? The hanged man, not taking action, not taking action. And what's the outcome card for the rest of the month? Man of Swords. You look, the Man of Swords is always somebody who typically has a job that is requires not being emotional, right? Scientists can't be emotional. They just have to document what they see. So when we get the um, when we get the man of swords, we're talking about the king of swords. It means that you will use your intellect, that's Aquarius energy, you'll use your intellect to cut anything out that doesn't fit, that doesn't work. You're a very practical person, Virgo. It's very uh, intellectual energy and you are ruled by Mercury. So it, it also is, I, I also see people who are in the sciences, engineers, uh, surgeons, people who cannot cry or get overly emotional and still function in their job. So that's the energy that I see for your outcome on the reading. So you're not going to get overly emotional. You're not going to get like all bogged down and too much emotion. But the, this part of the reading says that you're all, you're smitten already. So I'm going to go ahead and clarify this. I would say this looks quite good to me. 
as a relationship, I would say that this has a lot to provide in the way of your growth and your happiness and your love. Uh, it doesn't have a certain ending in marriage, but it certainly looks as though you will figure that out with time. So we're going to clarify the Man of Swords. Why is it Man of Swords here? Butterfly, Six of Wands. You want to be victorious in this relationship. The Seven of Cups, there's a lot of confusion, though. That's the same card. All right, that's the same card. What is this confusion about? I'm going to pull it from another deck. All right, why, why is there so much confusion in this relationship? All right. Eight of Cups, somebody has, I wouldn't say they've ghosted you, but you, they kind of pulled back really hard. It was due to outside circumstances, so when they tell you they've been really busy, wow, lover's cardigan, you can totally believe them, okay? So you can believe this person, and whether that's you, a Virgo, or the other person. You genuinely left, but you're planning on coming back. Um, even though, you know, Virgo feels sort of uncertain about where you're at with this. I do want to see what, the, I love this relationship reading. I really do. I think this is really gratifying. It's a beautiful relationship. I envy the relationship. But let's see, why is the Five of Swords here? Why is the Five of Swords haunting you right now in this moment as you're here with me? What is it about that? The Hermit card. Well, that's you, Virgo. You showed up in your own reading yet again. Love it when you show up for your reading. All right. What else is going on with that situation? The World card. The person may be traveling. They may be, may be at long distance. Again, <laughs> as far as you're concerned, you want to go to another planet and explore that. So your person is exploring Okay, so let's see. They might also be a person who's in another part of the world. Uh, it does seem unfair. It seems more circumstantial. This Five of Swords, the difficulties between you look like they're circumstantial. It does show that you um, think that it might be, this is again, circumstantial. Three of Wands is you're both working for your future. You're trying to keep your balance. So I feel really good about that. There are just times in our relationships, you know, that's what it is. When we travel a journey next to someone, they have to have their life and we have to have ours and that has to maintain itself. So that's what I get for your reading. Virgo, lovely, beautiful reading. I love the energy here for this relationship. You have a lot of major arcana. You have a lot of uh, beautiful love and emotions. That is it for December. Please subscribe like the video and comment because that is what is going to determine my good fortunes or ill fortunes on YouTube. Those damn analytics. Oh, thanks Virgo. Have a beautiful December. Bye.